Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 7 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone! This is Miss Tom. Let's finish reading The Joke Machine. Previously, the children told Mrs. May about their ideas. The children would write jokes on slips of paper and put them in a box. People would give some money and get a joke from the box. It was a joke machine. <laughs> Mrs. May thought it was a lovely idea. She told the children they would need lots and lots of jokes. The children made the joke machine. Chip made a poster. Nadim put the jokes on the computer and printed them off. They got 49 jokes. Mrs. May gave them one more joke. Now they had 50 jokes in total. They took the joke machine to the shopping center. They started to sell jokes to raise money for Help the Children Day. Every joke cost 50 pence or more. Would people come to buy jokes? A man came up to buy a joke. He's given us a pound, <coughs> called Chip. Thank you very much. The man wanted them all to tell the joke. So they told it together. A pound is a hundred pence. The man paid more than fifty pence for a joke. He must have liked the idea of the joke machine. I wonder which joke the man got from the joke machine. Would he laugh? What has only one foot? They all said. I don't know, said the man. What has only one foot? A leg, they said. <laughs> Everyone laughed. The man laughed. The children laughed. That was a good joke. Mrs. May came with a woman. She wore a big necklace. She looked important. Who was she? I have some good news, said Mrs. May. The mayor loves your joke machine. She wants to buy all your jokes. Guess how much she will pay for each one. The man was still laughing. <laughs> he loved the joke. The woman was a mayor. A mayor is the head of a city or town. She wanted to buy all the jokes. Wow, I'm sure the jokes would do her a lot of good. <coughs> would the mayor pay one pound for a joke too? Who wanted to buy all the jokes from the children? The mayor wanted to buy all their jokes. We don't know, said everyone. How much?
much will she pay for each one? Two pounds, said Mrs. May. Fifty jokes at two pounds each, said Nadine. That's a hundred pounds. Wow! The children just raised a hundred pounds for Help the Children Day. That was a lot of money. What a good job! <coughs> but we've sold twenty jokes," said Wolf. "There are only thirty left." I've been putting them back," said Nadine. "There's still fifty in there." Nadine didn't give the paper slips to people. He put them back in the joke machine, so they could resell the jokes. What a good idea! <coughs> What was the mayor doing? She was getting money from the ATM to pay for the jokes. What was the man doing? He was. Still laughing. <laughs> He was laughing so hard that tears came out of his eyes. If one pound could give you that much laughter, it was one pound well spent. Three cheers for Nadim," said Nina. <laughs> it was. His brilliant idea, and three cheers for the joke machine," said Mrs. May. <coughs> Why did the children give three cheers for Nadim? Yes, because it was Nadim who came up with the idea, and it was Nadim who kept putting the jokes back. To the joke machine. How do you think he felt? Oh, he felt good. <laughs> Why did the children give three cheers for Nadim? Because the joke machine was his brilliant idea. I've thought of another joke," said Nadine. <coughs> "What card game do crocodiles like?" <coughs> "We don't know," they all said. "What card game do crocodiles like?" <coughs> "Hmm, that was an interesting one. If crocodiles play card games." Which card game do they like? I don't know. Do you? Let's ask Nadim. Snap," said Nadim. Oh, everyone groaned. <coughs> Why did everyone groan? Why did Anina and Chip cover their eyes with hands? Snap! It's a popular card game. You snap by putting your hand on the cards, and other people may put their hands on yours. But if crocodiles play snap, would they play it with their hands? No. Their arms are too short. They would have to play it with their long mouths. If their mouths snap, ouch! You see, that was why everyone groaned. They must have been glad that Nadine didn't put this joke in the joke machine. All right, that's the whole story. Hope you like it. Goodbye. The 
本节目由喜马拉雅出品。